It was as if all forces conspired to protect the murder of Sophie. On the day Sophie died, no. John Harbison was celebrating his 63rd birthday. Did I leave the file on the brain case that I did last night? He was the chief state pathologist for Ireland and he called himself the dead man's doctor. Now, Rigomortis is a chemical phenomenon. It's variable in its rate of... Professor Harbison was a reluctant one-man band who didn't have a deputy. And that day, of all days, he couldn't be contacted until after lunch. At which point, it seemed to him there was little to be gained by travelling the seven hours to West Cork. There's no doubt that if the, the longer a body is around, the more difficult it becomes to assess actual time of death. You can be reasonably accurate if the body is found quickly in an ongoing temperature, but once a day passes, you'll have a variation in the ambient temperature. It was just above freezing point. The body would have been frozen solid, practically. We decided that there was no point in leaving the body in situ. And I rang the local officer, and I was more or less told that the police officer, by the police officer, that um, he wanted Dr. Harbison down there, and that's what was happening. It's a regulated force, so I said, yes, sir, that's grand, thank you, good night. The forensic team left for the night. A lone reporter from Dublin hung around for some nighttime shots and watched over by two policemen. Sophie was left on the lane. That was one of the things that angered every one of us. To think that this poor girl was left lying there for so long. It's not what we'd like to see for anyone of our own. 